Hi friends. Today I'd like to read a story to you called Apples and Pumpkins and it's written by Anne Rockwell and illustrated, that's the artist who drew the pictures, Lizzie Rockwell. Anne Rockwell and Lizzie Rockwell, they have the same last name. Maybe they're related. Maybe they're mother and daughter. Maybe they're sisters. That would be interesting to find out. So here's a great picture. So much like fall now, because we're in that season, right? The leaves are eventually going to be turning. You're seeing pumpkins in the stores. You're seeing pumpkins on front porches. There's apples in the trees. Maybe you've gone apple picking. So let's read this story. Apples and pumpkins. When red and yellow leaves are on the trees, we go to the Comstock farm to pick apples and pumpkins. So maybe you've gone to the farm. There are some in Warwick that are not far from your house, and then there are some in other towns nearby that you can go and visit. Mr. Comstock gives the bushel basket to put our apples in. Sometimes you get a basket, sometimes you will get a bag to put your apples in after you pick them. Geese and chickens and a big fat turkey walk with us on our way to the orchard where the apples grow. Yes, an orchard is like a big area of grass and trees and that's where the apples grow. It's got lots of sunshine so they grow and you can pick them and eat them. My father picks apples, and my mother does too. I climb into the little apple tree and pick the reddest apples of all. Some of the apples are way up high, and sometimes the farmer can climb up and get them for you. They really don't want you to climb on the trees because they don't want you to fall. But they have special pickers with a basket attached that you can... Um, push up into the tree. It takes an adult because they're taller. And then the apple can fall right into a little basket that's on like a long pole. When our basket is full of red shiny apples, hmm, I wonder what they're going to do with them. We go to the field where the pumpkins grow. I look and look until I find the best pumpkin of them all. Right? Sometimes you like one that's uh, shaped like an oval, maybe like a round shape, maybe you like a flat squatty one. They're all different kinds and they're all wonderful. But everybody has a special one that they like. My father cuts it from the vine. So pumpkins grow on a vine on the ground. Apples grow on a tree. I carry it back to the car. Does this look like the farm where you visited? I'll bet it does. Once you get your pumpkin at home, we carve the jack-o'-lantern face on our big orange pumpkin. We put a candle inside and light it. Now our pumpkin looks spooky and funny too. Halloween is spooky fun. A little bit scary, but we say spooky because that's when it's fun. Nothing to be afraid of. On Halloween night, we put our pumpkin on the doorstep. My mother gives away lots of our red and shiny apples for trick-or-treaters. Look, they come to the door and say, trick-or-treat, and she gives them an apple. So mom is doing that while I go trick-or-treating up and down the street. So friends, very soon in the month of October, it will be all about apples and pumpkins. You'll be tasting great things with apples like apple pie, um, cutting up apples and you can put a little cinnamon and sugar on them, apple sauce you can make, and then when the pumpkins are ready, you can make your jack-o'-lantern or you might even like pumpkin pie or pumpkin bread. So this is a wonderful time of year. All of these beautiful colors once the leaves change. So please enjoy your fall. And we will talk more about it as 
well, carries on through the whole month of, of October and parts of November. All right, I'll see you soon. Nice job.